Hello, it's Sarah, and today I have something a little different for you guys. I'm um, going to go through a little share from the past, blast from the past, say. One of my favorite decorative painters has been Maxine Thomas over the years, and um, I this was back when we used to go to convention, and um, uh, we had seminars and things like that, and I think I took two classes with her, in-person classes. Um, I know for a fact I painted this one at a class. This, it's a little, well, there we go. It's kind of like a schoolroom piece, I think. I have it in one of these books here. I think it's in this book. And she did like a whole big desk with it. Um, so half the piece was this side and half the piece was the other side. And uh, I think it's here. So it's in Country Primitives 12, I'm pretty sure, see? So it's like a fold-out desk and she had this image on this half and the bears on the other half. And I chose to do it on a door crown. And I have a picture of us. Uh, I don't think that, let's see what year. This was 07. So I think it's this one. Look, here it is. Look at me. I must have put my thumb over the... Uh, this is before cell phones and all that stuff. So this was O2 at the Lavender Cat. So I went to um, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And see, there's the piece. So that was in O4. This says O7. So I'm confused. Maybe I confused it and this because here's another one and this says O2 and it doesn't show the piece but that's her um because I anyway this just brought me to this was in my basement it was hanging up kind of on the soffit in the basement and I thought I really need to bring this upstairs it's a really cute piece I did a lot of work on it I love it it's really well done so I did. I brought it up and I'm going to hang it. It has a spot over there on my wall. And then this is another piece that was in the basement. It is from 05. And I haven't found the book for this one. Because um, this might have been the other class. But I don't think it was. Anyway. Um, I just love Maxine's artwork. And... She has lots of books, you guys, and patter packets. Like, it's endless. Um, and when I looked through this little book, I have pictures from when I used to do craft shows. See, like, here's my little craft show setup. The table with all the stuff. Um, anyway, I've sold a lot of Maxine's pieces. So that, because I was wondering, like, where are they? Where? I know I have see, like, him. I painted that Uncle Sam. This one I was looking for, and I'll, I'm going to show you something. I have this bench. This bench is in my basement. I have like two of them. Um, this one, this is a big one. I sold that at a craft sh show. And this is a copy of another one. Oh, look at the Santa. I love this Santa, and it's on like a little sleigh. Sometimes I would go to like Michael's or whatever and find a little wood piece that worked perfectly with it. Anyway... I'm going to be, oh, look at this. I sold this one at a craft show. I remember the little bears. It's very cute. A lot of her stuff is, it's country primitives. So it's definitely a certain style. Um, but I am going to be painting one of Maxine's pieces. But first, let me show you this. So this is, this hangs in my, like my second family room. Not, not where we sit now, but where we originally sit. My husband built a bigger room. In addition to the house, it's a good morning rooster. I also have this rooster, this very rooster. He's right in there. I should go get him. But like a three-dimensional rooster. And it is in a frame. I took it out of the frame. But this frame, because my accent color in my house is burgundy. So this is like a frame that it goes in. But I thought, you know, and I picked it up. And look what's on the back. The snowman. Oh my God, stop. It's too cute. I just love her artwork. It's really cute. So this is from 
1904, so 16 years ago. Look at the gold writing on the on the prayer book, on the um, caroling book. I love it. There's a gold bow there. Look at the shines from the lantern. I just love it. All right, so I wanted to show you that. And I'm going to show you the piece that I'm going to paint. Let me just grab... I'm just grab, I brought it to grab this. Sorry, excuse the dust. But this is a, I think I probably bought, I'm just grabbing a, a baby wipe. I probably bought this at a craft show or um, a um, trade show, the trade show at the, uh, I don't know, I, I, I might have ordered it because in her books she has sources for you to find the, the wood. To, so that you can paint the projects on the actual, I'm going to have to get a Q-tip and get in there, on the actual surfaces that she uses, you know, which I love to do. I And because <clears throat> when I started decorative painting, I ha we had just gotten this house, so I had a lot of ground to cover. I had a lot of decorating to do. And so my house has become like a little museum of all my art pieces. But this sits on the table right below see here it is so here's the rooster right there and here he is right here the three-dimensional version of it isn't that cool and then right next to that sits uncle sam i just want to show you uncle sam maxine has painted uncle sam's before this one however was carved by my husband's uncle bill you can see BS on the bottom, Bill Sinclair, and I painted this in 02 with Maxine's directions. She had, uh, like I said, I painted that one of the flying Uncle Sam. Anyway, I was so happy to be able to paint him because Uncle Bill carved him. So he sits right there with my little uh, rooster. All right, but this is what I really wanted to share with you guys. So I went and I dug out some of Maxine's books and wanted to find something that I could paint with you guys. And I had a toss up. This scarecrow, because I'm still in autumn mode, even though it's raining today. Look at this scarecrow. The moon, the crow, look at the, oh my God. This would just be so fun to paint. I can't, it's, oh. I want to do the big version though. Like I don't, this isn't even going to do them justice. I mean, it probably would, but I want to do the big one. So I have that. Here, see, here's the, uh, this is the table. This is my piece that I did. I did it on a door crown. Um, look at the snowman though. They're all amazing. The Father Christmas, but there's an angel. Let me see if this is the book with the angel. She's not in here. Here, look at this, the snowman candlestick. So this one I pulled because there are plates in here that I, and I have him, I bring him out every Christmas. But there are plates in here that I could do on my rounds, my mandala rounds. So there's 10 inch and look, this one's an Easter one. I really like the snow family, but this, look what I have. In my stash, I had these, the exact, probably bought them to do this so I will be doing this next but the first thing I'm gonna do is this this is it's called Annie get your brush box this is Raggedy Ann holding it says we'll paint for chocolate she's holding um, a palette she's got some paint and brushes in her pocket and her little paint box I'm going to paint that on a surface that I've had in my stash. It's from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99, and I'm going to paint her on here. I thought I had a basket with a lid, and I looked all over for it, and I can't find it. And it's fine, because I think I was either going to put her on here, which I think it's going to be her. Um, I'm just going to cut it off and hang that in my craft room because I mean she belongs in here and um, or I was gonna put this angel which this is Angelica and she's 
supposed to be Christmas. And I'm going to show you the bigger um, right here. Here's the uh, pattern. I have this from, it's a huge tag. It was like $2.99 again or something like that at Ross or um, Marshalls, one of them. I just happened to find it and it's just sitting here and I think it would be perfect for her. Look how the perfect size because she's kind of floating in the air and there's just stars around her. I might leave off the horn and the re like just leave all this off and just do her and keep her in my craft room too because I just love angels and that way she doesn't have to be seasonal. She can be all the time. But look at this witch. I'm so drawn to her. And I mean, she's not even, she's Glenda the Good Witch. Like, it's just too cute because I'm totally in um, fall mode and Halloween mode. I just have to paint her. Like, but I need to find the perfect piece to put it on, you know? And I think this tag could be good too. And I could just cut other tags, but I just love the idea of a tag, a big wooden tag. And then there's an Easter Bunny right here, Harriet Hare, Angelica, and then I think it's Father Christmas. This is a floor mat. Uh, oh, it's a snow, a snow lady. There's a snow lady. But I think I'm going to do Angelica. And I think this is going to paint up really quick. Maybe I'll do her first because she's not a lot of colors. Um, let me see, right here. When you look at the color picture of her, yeah, see, it's a snow, it's a snow mom and a snow boy with the birdhouse above an igloo. Oh my God, come on. But look at the witch. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, wait. Here she, this is Angelica. So she's just really on a bl dark blue background and it's just creams and so it's very simple a lot of like shading and highlighting to get the but that's it and then I can add a little maybe glitter to her wings but very basic maybe use some gold paint for her halo and the stars um, but I could leave off the horn like I was thinking of something else I could maybe leave the horn because a horn you know she I think I'm gonna leave the horn but I'm gonna take off the wreath and the um, come let us adore him because that way she is kind of not as seasonal. But I am so excited. So I'm going to start that today. I'm going to prep the wood. I'm going to do her first. And then I'm going to do, um, where is she? Oh, she's in the same book. Cool. So this one's called Annie Get Your, Get Your Brush Box. Let's see. I'll show you her, the picture of her. That's the awesome thing too about, look, see it's like a fireplace screen or something with all four of the seasons on there. It's just too cute, you guys. I mean, she's on the cover. See the brush box? So, um, I will be doing, oh, but look at her, the witch. Oh, I can't, I can't decide, but I'm gonna do the angel. Fine, I'll do the witch next time. And she also gives you a pattern for a super huge one. Like this is a super huge one. When you un open this up, so I guess she painted it on a really huge, see look. OMG, I'm so, I love this when I feel inspired again. Here she is, this is the brush box. So I think that'll go just perfect on here and I'll put it right behind me on my wall. Mm. And I'm hanging, so I'm hanging up a lot of more painted stuff in my craft room. I'm excited. So that's it for today. I just wanted to do a, how about we do an artist spotlight? And it's Maxine Thomas, Country Primitives. I don't, I've stopped, I stopped buying the books. I'm up, I think I own 12. Like here's Country Primitives 12. And this Scarecrow, OMG. So the Witch and the Scarecrow, they need to be buddies, like... They are so freaking cute. <gasps> anyway, um, I think she's up to 14, 16. She may have 16 books. I don't know where she gets the content. It's just so much good stuff. Even this cute little angel. <clears throat> I could just do her. Each one of these is like a separate... Stop it. I can't. 
All right. So spotlight on Maxine Thomas, and I'll be back. Oh my God, my son is a pig. Uh, with some more stuff. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.